We are back with another vlog week two. I've got my heart for you guys today and I thought I would talk about a topic that kind of coincides with last week's theme. So last week I spoke about content monetization and how much pressure there is to create when you have that kind of moving over your head. This week I want to talk about creative burnout. And so when I'm experiencing creative burnout, there are a few ways that I try to work through it. One, sometimes when I just can't create anything where I'm stuck at the keyboard, I just stop. I'm not going to write um, during a moment where I'm just like, I can't think of anything and I can't push myself that way either. So instead, I've found a few methods to kind of help me work through my creative burnout. Um, it is important that the first step is, is that I'm not going to, I'm not going to beat myself up for not being able to create immediately or to constantly create content on a regular basis. It's impossible. Um, and honestly, because I'm just a team of me, um, I'm the only one doing my stuff. <laughs> so if the person who is doing this stuff is too stressed out, too overwhelmed, or like not feeling well, I can't push myself to continue forward when I'm the only team. Like it is, it is all me. <laughs> And I want to put this out there so that people know that there are so many creators and artists like myself where it's just one person. Number two, it's okay to repurpose things that are older and that I've already created. I've been reusing content that I've already posted or that I have lingering in the drafts because at the end of the day, it's okay for me to repurpose things that I've already created because it's still my content and it's still my story and my voice. And when I don't have something new to share or to create or put out there in the world. And then three, during creative burnout is the best time to consume other creativity. So for me, that looks like I like to read a lot more when I'm stressed. Um, for me, reading is a way to explore a similar method of creativity and it's encouraging and it gives me a space to think and just like be a person who appreciates art. I love looking at other artists work, I love reading other poets work, I love exploring other fashion styles and that time period of me consuming another person's creativity will make me feel a little bit better because I'm sitting here supporting another creative who might be going through the same thing or potentially has a similar background to who I am or is just putting something out in the world that I just really really enjoy. So that's creative burnout. Another thing to think about when it comes to creative burnout is that no matter what, you'll be able to revisit your ideas or revisit your creative energy again at some point in the future. It might not be right now, but it will happen again. What matters is taking care of yourself, what matters is your community around you, and what matters is just you appreciating the moments for what they are right now. So while you might not be able to create something new today, it's okay to repurpose old work, it's okay to look at other people's work, and it's also okay to just take a break, because taking a break is so important, and especially in an economy where people want you to hustle all the time and constantly push out content 24-7 with little to no pay. So remember, you are the creator, and it's important to take care of yourself. And that's my lesson for this week because that's what I've been doing. I've been creating and repurposing old work to adapt on my website. I've worked on my portfolio and still applying to jobs. It sucks ass, but <laughs> I'm doing the best that I can. And that's what I can hope for. Hopefully next week I'll have a better story, a better vlog for you. But for now, this was Creative Burnout and what I'm doing.